it's, the camera just doesn't feel right. Oh my gosh, I am so rusty. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Barry here. Hope you are well wherever you are in the world. Uh, welcome to our kitchen. Now, a little bit of an update. I have not put up a video for about four or five weeks. I don't want to go on this too long, but basically, at the start of the year, I tend to take a break. I normally take a one, two week break, but I was really, really ill over Christmas. So then I decided I had to take a couple more days just to recover. And then the day that I was about to come back, well, actually no, two days before that, Chloe got ill with COVID. She decided to bring it home from school, which was a bit of a shame. We were walking around sanitizing the house lots and lots and lots, but then as that crossed Whatever happened as Chloe was about to heal, Mrs. B heal, Mrs. B got COVID and Mrs. B got COVID pretty darn bad. I was isolating the house everywhere. It was just Phoebe and I left. Mrs. B and Chloe, Clovid, had it really bad. Uh, Chloe healed, healed, went back to school. Mrs. B was genuinely, jokes aside, pretty darn bad uh, and uh, she is okay now, but I was a bit worried about her. But anyway, during that crossover, 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 Phoebe got it, and Phoebe was really bad too. After all of that, uh, two days ago, uh, Phoebe tested negative and she has gone back to school today. So that is where I have been. I am super, super sorry, but really excited for 2022. Some of you are like, why didn't you put a video up? Ultimately, if you guys know me, I don't have any overheads at the moment. I don't have to pay staff. I don't have a business premises. I don't have all algorithms and targets to hit. I'm a very relaxed guy on YouTube and I just want to have fun. But most importantly, above all that, you guys hopefully know me family first. So thank you so much for all the kind support and messages I had. I'm sorry if I just kind of went AWOL, but I went into complete Mrs. Doubtfire mode. I was sleeping in a separate room of the house. I didn't get it and I was like sanitizing everything. If the kids touched anything, I was like, <laughs> I literally turned into a human wet wipe, okay? So I'm sorry that I've been away. Hopefully that very short condensed summary is way better than what I just did for Patreon Vlog Club. But thank you wherever you are in the world for your support and understanding. 2022, I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. I was absolutely horrendously ill uh, at the start of the year um, during my break. So yes, that's my break, but I'm feeling good. I'm just ultimately glad that my family are healthy and happy and I hope you are too. Wow, what an unplanned intro. Anyhow, let's get started. We're gonna start the year with uh, a gadget review. Uh, I think towards the end of the year, you might have seen a video where Mrs. B cameoed and running and went, hey, I got you this. Uh, this is a sausage roll making machine, uh, which is from a supermarket called Aldi. There was an article the other day saying that these are flying off the shelves. I think it was like 15 pounds, something like that. But every time I went in Aldi, I was like, oh look, they still got loads of these. So when you see an article saying they're flying off the shelves, Probably not. Uh, today we're going to test it out and see if we can make uh, with this machine some homemade sausage rolls. But some of you over the pond, down under, might not know what sausage roll is. The good news for you, I've done an amazing gourmet sausage roll recipe on the channel. Oh my stonking times. It's basically a pastry cylinder and you have these slashes down them, not all the time, but that helps as they bake uh, for the steam to release and the puff paste to go rise around it. But the actual sausage like this, is cooked. So all being well, by the end of this video, we will hopefully be able to make four sausage rolls. Now I'm not gonna get crazy with all the fillings and stuff. We're just gonna make one. And then for comparison, we'll just bake one standard with the same recipe and ingredients in the oven and compare them like for like. If this thing does actually work, I'll take it to Norwich with Stuart Ashen and we will do a video of what he prepped him. Will it sausage roll? I just wanna make sure that it's not lethal really. <laughs> Nice and easy. It, it is it kind of getting quite a consistent thing with any of these things like churro makers and all that. It's basically a sandwich toaster with grooves in, non-stick plates. There's a little bit of like a crimp along there to kind of seal. Bye. Yes. Oh yes. The pastry together, but that is it. I'll get it all untangled and that stuff, and there will be some smoke emitted. But, oh my god. Like <laughs> so. Did I snap that? No. Oh, I feel so like like I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Got a red light there, okay? So I'm just gonna do that just to get that And I haven't even gonna look at the instructions. I know it's gonna do that factory smell thing. And I wanna just apologize in advance if the camera's out of focus or there's a blob on the lens because that's what I do anyway. <laughs> so normal service is resumed, yeah. It says you can grease the top and the bottom of the cooking plates with some oil to improve the cooking results. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. That's the factory smell we love. Lay a piece of puff pastry or short cusp pastry on the bottom of the cooking plate. What? Oh my gosh, this is genius. The width of this bottom plate 
um, is half, roughly, of a standard sheet of ready-made puff pastry. So if we halve this, we're gonna have enough to cloak the bottom and then do the top. And it should, it should self-crimp, which is actually quite genius. We'll uh, let this cool down fully. We're gonna let the pastry thaw out and slice it. So whilst we do that, Although curried sausage rolls sounded amazing, we're gonna to stick to this standard sausage roll recipe. Sorry, I know I'm like being quite talkative today. I am generally anyway, yeah, I am anyway. But I generally, generally really missed making videos and missed you guys. So thank you so much for your patience. I really do appreciate it. It's been absolutely hell for me. I just hate it so much. It says one small onion, so yep. Three tablespoons of sage. I blooming love sage. Uh, in true Barry style, I actually need a larger bowl. So the sausage meat, which is the final ingredient, um, you can buy this in packs at the supermarket. It is basically just pork meat uh, that's been seasoned with salt and pepper and a little bit of nutmeg. But if you want to go crazy on this, buy some sausages, or if you can't get sausage meat, squeeze the meat out of it, and you can get all different flavor ones with apple in and chorizo and stuff like that. So that's, that's pretty cool. This is, of course, whoop, if it works. It does actually concern me a little bit, because this is obviously raw meat. So the sausage roll maker, has actually got to cook this raw meat. And an oven, I get it, but this is toaster territory where the hot surfaces are gonna cook the pastry. This is, yeah. And I just realized I didn't grease um, the bottom, but I, I'm feeling confident. So all we do is spoon that filling into that hollow cavity. Now this is quite interesting because normally I would think when I'm joining two bits of pastry together you would need some sort of egg wash. But as you can see there, I've just blanketed it over the top. So we would do this. I'm not going to turn it on yet, but there's going to get a little bit of resistance I feel. Ooh, resistance. Oh, look at you. <laughs> it's crimped it. That's amazing. If I do some crazy angle like this, I might be able to see it turn on. All right, the red light is on. 10 to 12 minutes with these sorts of machines as we've seen in the past it just gets to that temperature the red and green lights come on kind of like traffic lights just to hold the temperature so potentially in 10 to 12 minutes i'm definitely going 12 because of the raw meat we should have golden pastry and a meat that is fully cooked through in our sausage rolls oh my gosh i really hope the microphone just picked up because it just winced it was like Look, I'm gonna get in. Can you see? See the puffage. <laughs> David Attenborough saying that. In the world, you can see the puffage around the sausage. Very rare to see four together in the nest as the sausage, hopefully, cooks through. Magnificent. Remember, the onus, I don't think I've ever said that in a video before, onus is on you. There's no timer. You've just got to play it by ear. Well, it's probably better to do it with your eyes. Asterix small print, amongst all this silliness and banter, right? Uh, remember, there is raw meat still in there, so I am gonna push it for the full 12 minutes, even though I didn't set a timer. Yeah. I wanna try and get it beyond golden if I have to, to give it maximum heatage for the puffage and the meatage. That's a lot of edge, or age. And on that topic, I'm 40 this year. Oh my gosh. Should we have a big party? Should I just invite everyone to my house? Mikey, that's hot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> if that isn't done, I'm going to be eating raw meat, but I will be very, very surprised because that colour is sensational. I don't know if the camera's really going to show it up, but it's golden brown, a little bit of charage. It's angry, but I'm, I'm quite confident I'll be able to get these out of these plates. So I'm gonna let this cool down as it is. So just while that cools down, here is another piece of puff pastry. And if you look quite accurately down here, you'll see that I've spilt some egg yolk on there. <laughs> so you can crimp the ends if you want, down on my barrel loose baking mat. Uh, loads of these in stock now on Amazon US and UK, all right? Make my incisions. I'm gonna leave one plane so it matches this. But this one, if I bring it a bit closer, also with, oh my gosh, that was a lot of seeds some seeds on it, which is what they've got on the box. See, hashtag evidence, and I don't know why I've got slits in it, all right? Just saying. These will bake in the same time, so up to about 15 minutes in a 180C fan oven. So this is actually replicating the same amount of heat 
if it's worked. So we'll bake that batch with another batch. Well, provided these aren't raw. Come on, yes! <laughs> oh, that's a massive sausage roll. It's actually sealed it as well. That is amazing. Mmm. First time we're saying it of the year, stonking. The, the puffage, oh, we got it. The color, we got it. The crunch in the pastry, the meat, the tangy, sagey, onion, pork combo with the salt and pepper. That machine works. They're flying off the shelves. <laughs> we go there for our veg generally, but that is awesome. I'm seriously impressed by that. Right, let's let it cool down and then we'll make the slightly more gourmet ones. So what I think we'll do is we'll egg wash and we'll leave another one blank for classic contrast. And I'm just gonna try and carefully sprinkle some seeds. So in one swoop, we're gonna push this one down. Oh yes. I'll see you in a minute. It is like angry though. It's like giving a, ah, mm, fudge. Ooh, is that butter? Ooh, cheeky. That smells amazing. Look at that. Ah, has that got a hole in it? Ow. The color is slightly more golden uh, than the ones that weren't egg washed. But look, this shows it even better. Well, this is one where we didn't egg wash at all. Standard egg wash and the egg wash with the seeds. I don't know about you, but I don't want to eat that. My doorbell just rang. <laughs> now, if that is someone from my family at my door, they are going to try one of these sausage rolls. If it's a postman, I'll invite him in. Folks, we have struck gold. We have got the double whammy. Not only has my lovely mother turned up, also my elder sister. So we have got the perfect ability to do a taste test comparison right now. I don't do lipstick. Are you putting lipstick on? Ah, well, did someone just fart? Mrs. Uh, Mummy, Mrs. Hi. Mummy, and Mrs. Big Sister Hi. have appeared. This is my sister Charlene and my mum, who has eaten. <laughs> They dropped off a present and now they're eating a sausage roll taste test, okay? So we'll have one of these, mm -hmm. so you know I have one of those, and then we'll compare it to that, okay? Okay, yeah. Do that's this. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's fine. You can tell she's um, classically trained. This is, uh, <laughs> Mrs. Charlene does a lot of uh, performing arts, don't you? Uh, a long time ago. She was in an ABBA tribute band, weren't you? I was in an ABBA tribute band. Yeah. Let's see the one with the beard. <laughs> There's no snails today, Mum. Good. You're so Going quiet. For it. I'm gonna have one. Poppy seed topped sausage roll, okay? This is mm. your moment, guys. It's a bit like sage and onion flavour. Yeah. It's not very crunchy. Not very crunchy. No, it's quite soft, isn't it? A bit more crunch. Well, you want a, I, See, that's what I don't... I don't like it too crunchy. I like that nice bit of puff pastry where you've got that, but you still got that tenderness. Mm, no, I think I prefer it a little bit more crunchy on the outside. Okay. Quite soggy. Soggy bottom. Right. You don't want a soggy bottom. You should know. <laughs> <laughs> so now, oh actually I'm going to go for the seeded one. I thought you might. Ready? Yes. I thought you might. Mm. Oh. That's the best. That is good actually. Mm. Mm. That is actually. It's definitely crunchier. Yeah, you have got that merry crispness around the outside. Mm. The sage flavour anyway. But it's the fact that it's cooked it held it together and crimped it. I didn't think this would be the case, but for me personally, this supersedes the oven. Much better. Yes, I prefer this one too. Yes, I prefer this one too. <laughs> I love my mama. <laughs> well, thank you ladies for coming in there. So we're all in agreement that this sausage roll making machine is actually okay. I would I give that a good eight or 10. Right, brilliant. Mm. Mm. Really nice. So don't forget, I am going to be taking that machine to Norwich uh, for Stuart to have a little try of Will It Sausage Roll with me or Will It Sausage Roll Maker. Any crazy ideas for fillings that aren't going to blow up his house, Bye. let me know down below or on your social media of choice. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not apple. already. Apple. <laughs> All I heard was go, apple, apple. Apple. Yes. Be good. Just an apple in it. Apple pie. It's a bit oh like yeah, that. like a McDonald's apple pie. Yeah. Mm. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm back. Bye. 
Got all the notes, baby, like a treble clef. Cooking up this song like a naked chef. I know what you're thinking, British guy drinking tea, but I'm gangster British, baby. I prefer chickpeas. Mum, do you have a final thought for today? Keep safe, everyone. I'm going to turn that into a meme.